Okay, this is number five, and I think we're recording. And if we're not, we're not. Traveling through rural Romania in between some mountains in a valley area here. A lot of haystacks, a lot of uh, families out uh, working fields, couple of generations you see out in the field on occasion. Saw one ox pulling a uh, plow to make a furrow for to likely to plant something. Uh, kind of truck farmers, that type of thing. Haven't seen too many uh, greenhouses just recently. We have oh, seen a half a dozen of them or so since we're in Romania. Greenhouse, fairly large greenhouses. Lots of uh, small little villages. It's probably a lot like the one you see coming up. Uh, and I don't, I didn't catch the name as we buzzed by. Always with the church in the middle. And it's really a blessing to have been born in America where we have the ability to if we work hard and study hard and a person is of average intelligence you make the right life and social choices along the way you can elevate yourself out of poverty and that's not true really in many parts of the rest of the world possibly it is in Romania but you know just again not to be disparaging to these people who are very hard working they uh, simply don't have the opportunities here that we do in the states as a matter of course this village I don't see a little industry in the middle of it but many of the others we've gone through there are rusting hulks of uh, st uh, smokestacks and larger industrial buildings it uh, I may be wrong, but it looks like an attempt at industrializing this area, likely by the communists in the 50s and 60s. That would be the era that the buildings would date to. It's kind of like, uh, you know, it, it, it just appears as though they would have plunked down an industry and said, here, build this. And um, without having a real market, potentially, or a, uh, a real economy for it, and now these are rusting hulks in the middle of these little towns and most of them appear to be abandoned people have gone back to the way they used to do it now that might have had a good effect of taking some of the best and the brightest of their people and if they had gone to school to be engineers and the like possibly they are you know they moved on and moved into some of the larger cities in Romania or even to other countries uh, that really you know probably happened some I don't know to what uh, to what extent or even if my entire assumption is correct but I've got to believe that there is a there is that because of the industries that were uh, that are now rusting and, and dead and there's not a lot of new industry that sprung up around it in the states you have a good idea things start with a good idea you have a good idea and you turn that into a profitable venture if you're a smart capitalist really a smart guy that understands the real market and supply and demand and that is the way to lasting long-term success as contrasted with some centralized bureaucracy saying this is what makes sense for you to build and uh, we'll try to figure out the market after you build them. I could have been born in this part of the world as easily as I was born in America, but as I've said before, I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth and uh, am truly grateful for that because I was born in America and I was taught personal responsibility. Another little town. The area out around here is very much like eastern Kentucky. If you had to pick a point in the United States that this roughly equates to, I would say eastern Kentucky would be probably as close a, uh, of a parallel as any. And you have some buildings in a town like this that are in better repair and then others that you don't know if they're still inhabited. We see some repairing going on right there with a guy with a cement mixer doing some work. Saw another village where a new building was being constructed right on the main highway and a gentleman was out painting, painting in a beautiful new color. And as always, lots of bikes, tractors, horse carts with families on them. 
and a lot of cars too. I certainly wouldn't want to paint the picture that this is just a whole bunch of uh, Amish without uh, without the religious piece. They they, they certainly um, have access to some of the the many of the conveniences that we do. And my guess, if you'd look, most of the uh, homes probably have TV in them. I have not been in a place in the world where that isn't the case, although there still are some, certainly. How readily accessible the internet is to them is probably anybody's guess. We seem to have fairly good cell coverage out here, so that's, that's a good thing. Keep in mind that these countries are very small, and uh, they're not, you know, they're, they're three of them fit into a medium-sized state in Wisconsin or in, uh, in the states. So putting in infrastructure in some ways is probably challenging because their economies aren't big, but in other ways they, uh, they don't have as big a footprint either. And they're more densely populated. These countries that we've been traveling through are all more densely populated than Wisconsin, for instance. And the population isn't out in the country. You can go for miles and not see any homes at all, and then everybody is in the smaller villages, which makes it, I guess, an easier way to, to wire and to connect people. 